All right, what is up, guys, and welcome to uh, the second episode of the How to Code a Minecraft Kit server. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, um, basically what it was is we set up Eclipse, we downloaded the, the stuff we needed uh, to actually start the bucket coding. And um, so basically you would have this screen, whatever, which I have right here in front of you. If you don't, uh, go back to episode one and do the things, follow the steps, and then you should come out right here. Now, always in the beginning, for every Minecraft plugin, you have to pretty much do the same steps. Uh, you've got your first public main class, which needs to extend the Java plugin. Um, now you hover over it and you, uh, oh god, there we go. We hover over it and we import it. Um, we've got a little, uh, what I, which I always use, it's a little shortcut. You uh, you do Control plus Shift plus O, basically. What it does is it, it imports everything which needs importing, and it's basically just a shortcut. You don't have to use it. But I, I will probably use it eventually. Now, um, the main this is the main plugin which the server will read once it finds your plugin in the list. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to um, make it, make uh, the thing where it has to what it is, what it is going to do on when this plugin will be enabled and what is it's going to do on when the plugin is disabled. So we've got on enable. Uh, you basically just type it like that. Uh, it's fairly easy. And um, basically what it's going to do on enable, we're going to add a lot of stuff to that. But right now we're just going to uh, do system.out and we're going to uh, have to print a line. And the line is going to be, uh, I don't know, we're going to do like s kits enabled. Uh, which basically will show in the server log uh, that it has been enabled. And we're going to do exactly the, the same thing uh, on disable. It's uh, it's quite logic, you know. You don't. It's it's not rocket science. Uh, as get disabled, and that will. Oh yeah, we're, we've got the capital. There we go. And that should I uh, put the semicolon or whatever its name. I'm co I call it the semicolon, <laughs> and you uh, you put it at the end there. Now that's the pretty much the, the beginning. You've got uh, whatever the server will will find your plugin. It's going to read this, and it's going to. Uh, make sure to print out those messages so you will see that it has been enabled or disabled. Now that is the first part. Uh, it's not really hard. And then we're going for the second part. Um, basically, I, I, what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if it's a logical order, but what I always do is once I've got the main, I'm going to make the uh, a, a simple uh, a package for the events because every every Minecraft server that plays it will it will run events it has events from player death so whenever a player dies it runs that your player respawn uh player break a block uh, there, there's literally for almost every anything that happens in a server on the minecraft client there's an event that will run now um basically we need to uh have those events in a, in a, in a convenient package so i was always put it together uh, we do that. We create a new class, and we're going for uh, player, listener. Basically, this will have anything in it uh, that a player does. So that is not, you know, it is uh, it is pretty logic. So we, we're going to implement. There we go. Implement. Implement. There we go. And then listener. Uh, Control Shift O. And then we're going to go for the org.bucket.event listener. All right, so you implemented the listener, and now basically what we're going to do is, um, I guess we'll, we'll do just a welcome message for a player that whenever he joins the server, it says like, "Hi, player, uh, welcome to the server." Pretty much every server has that. Now um, this is we're just going to go public void uh, on player join event. Well, that is basically this is what the thing is called. And then we're going to go for player join event event and this and when we'll do uh, okay yeah we need to have event handler above it basically what it does is whenever uh, an event has to run it basically it tells bucket to like this is an event make sure it runs so the control shift O it imports both of it and basically anything that happens in between these two uh, what is it like I have no clue what they're called in, in between the little bouncy things, uh, they have a name, you know, native English is not my native language, so 
don't blame me basically <laughs> all right so again everything that um whenever a player joins everything that is in between those uh, will happen now to make it simple uh we're going to go for player player the, the player this is the player that you know we're talking about whenever he joins the server and then we do like the equals and then event dot get player um basically and then we do control shift o uh it imports that and now we have like the, the player which is called player which is you know fairly easy uh this player is the player that has joined the server and so what we're going to have to do uh, eventually we'll give them like kits give them everything they will need but for now we're just going to send the player a message player that send message um we'll put like a nice color like chat color dark green or something like that and then um we'll send a message hi uh whoa yeah oh oh god hi player dot get name because that is the name of the player um welcome uh like welcome to s kids now basically whenever a player joins it will send them that message uh, and now they will know how oh, oh it's good i'm i'm on the actual server which is uh, always a handy thing to do <laughs> now okay that is the first part of the event now the second part is to actually let the server know that this class file uh has the events in it and uh so what we're going to do we're going to go back to the main uh to the main class file and uh yeah Oh wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I need to uh, need to actually remember how to do. It has been a long while ago. All right, so we have to go to plugin manager, plugin manager PM, and then we're going to get server. Uh, but it's not. I myself don't exactly know what it's always. Uh, you don't have to worry about it at all. I'm doing Control Shift O again to import it. Uh, just make put that line in. You don't really have to worry about it. Eventually. And then we, uh, so we have the uh, the plugin manager, uh, and now we now we need to re register the event. So we're going pm dot uh, register event. Um, you don't have to really have to worry about any of this. Uh, you can just remove that. Now we're going to type in new, and then you need to type the name of your uh, event listener. Now in our case, that's called event player listener. And then you do what? There we go. And now we do this. Um, basically, what it means this is uh, it, it it means that this is the main plugin, and the server is going to know that whenever whenever that player whenever an event runs, it needs to run that player listener in this plugin. So do Control Shift O again, um, and then that should import it. Actually, why hasn't that imported it yet? Change the player listener. Oh, player list burner. Sorry, I misspelled it. All right, control shift. Oh, it imports it now. Uh, there we go. Oh, re register events. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it, it has been a while. Again, just uh, do what I do in the beginning. And then eventually, we're going to add stuff towards it. These are basically the quote unquote boring steps, what you have to do in pretty much every plugin. Now, what what we did right now is we we made the uh, made the main plugin made made main class file for the plugin. Uh, whenever the plugin runs, it will uh, print the message that has been enabled. Whenever it disables, it prints the message that has been disabled. And we let the server know that this player listener on the left side, which is our our listener file. So whenever an event runs in the server, the server knows now that they have to run the player listener which is over here and what the player listener does is whenever a player joins it sends them a message now this is pretty much the the, the most basic uh event that there is uh we are going to have to do a lot more than that you know for example whenever a player dies we need to like make the give the other player some some credits or something like that in that direction and um i think that will be all in the next episode right now just make sure you have this um you can fool around a little bit with it you can change the names you can you can change the name from the class files give like extra messages to players whenever they join uh, for example eventually we're gonna have to uh, send the player a message how many how many money slash credits they have 
and um, that will all be in later episodes. So right now, uh, leave a like, it helps me out a lot. And I'll see you all in the next episode.